No, Sam Shamun, you cannot call me. Sorry. I'm really upset from you. You told people you cannot take a side? You told people you cannot say take a side with, with Hamas or Israel? Suddenly now you love Hamas? I cannot believe that you said that, Sam Shamun. How in the world we cannot take a side against those, who, those are the ones who took your land. They took your country. All of us, we knew what John the Baptist did. John the Baptist, he lost his life. Why? Because he did not accept a filthy ruler, a filthy king, behavior, marrying a woman who she is not lawful for him. And then you will see a priest saying to you, we cannot revolt against a ruler. So who is John the Baptist? He was a bad person. You did not say that, Sham Shamun? Well, if you did not, I apologize then. I don't know. That's what they told me. I heard somebody saying that uh, maybe they understood you wrong that you don't take a side and they said to me that you have a Palestinian guy speaking to you yeah anyway as long as the video is there people they can watch it and they can see if this is true or not but for us as a Christians, we take side with the truth, no matter what, how good the Jews or how bad the Jews. You see, we don't take side with the Jews because they are good to the Christians or because they are bad. This is not how truth work. If somebody owns something, he own it. He's bad or is good, this is a different story. This is the land of the Jews. When somebody says that, oh, the covenant does not go for those Jews, who said so? God, he made a promise forever not temporarily it's not up to you it's not up to me those are the children of Israel I cannot say to someone like Sam Shamoon Iraq is not your land even though the land in the Bible says that this kingdom the kingdom of Assyria will be destroyed is that correct The Bible says so. But can I deny that this is his land? I cannot. Even in the Bible, it's promised that this land will be destroyed. This, this kingdom will be demolished. But still, it's his land. The prophecy about demolishing the land does not change the fact that those people, they are the one who own the land. So we as a Christian, we have to be truthful and side with the truth. If Hamas owned the land, we will say Hamas owned the land. As simple as that. If Hamas does not, then Hamas does not. In the time of war, those who stand with you is the one, if you are truthful, is the one who stands for the truth, and the one who oppose you is the liars. You know, in the, like, there is a very, okay, I will open my sky with Sam, just give me a, a few minutes. You know, in the time of war, if I have a friend, and uh, like now, Hamas attacking me, I call him, hey, brother, I have like 50 of Hamas shooting at my house. Would you come? My friend, he says, oh, I have, uh, sorry, I cannot now, you know. 
Yeah, that means my friend is not my friend. In the time of need, you know who is your friend, you know who is truthful, and you know who is a liar. As simple as that. Let us open Skype and take a call from Sam Shamu. Maybe he can clear what been said. <clears throat> All right, Sam, okay, text me in uh, Skype, please. All right, we are calling Sam Shamoon. Oh. Hello? The crisis, I love you, man. What's up? Hey, my friend, how are you doing? Yeah. Can you clear for us, please, what we what I heard? Is it true? Or I did not hear yourself myself. I never heard you saying that, but somebody told me. Hold on. Someone lied to you, said I'm supporting Hamas. Stuck no, they wrong. said they said that you said you cannot side with this or that. No, no. See, this is why. Ah, CPN, you wonder why I get angry and I cuss people out. I'm not patient like you. Okay. okay. This is why I get angry with these fake Christians, these sissies. I did four shows answering the question, is the Jews God's chosen people? I said no. Uh -huh. The church is. Hmm. Christians who believe in Jesus, they are the true people of God. And a Jew who believes in Jesus, he will be chosen. I said Israel has the right to exist. And Hamas is from the pit of hell. All right. But we do not say Israel, the nation, is the chosen people of God. I because see. Jesus said, they reject me, the kingdom will be taken away from them. So now, a true Israelite, according to Jesus, is one who believes in Jesus, whether Jew or Gentile. That's what I said. Yeah, but in Israel now, we have a lot of Christians, right? There's Israeli Christians. Yeah, yeah, and, and what I was telling and, and, them is, And those are, yeah, at the same time, the Israeli today, regardless of uh, 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 what, uh, what they believe, the Israeli is the Israeli, and uh, you know we should let us say uh, a person is an atheist. Yes. Oh, this land is for whom? What do you think? Yeah, of course, I said Israel has the right to exist in the land. And then I said in my broadcast, if you listen, I said, okay, Muslims, give Iraq back to the Assyrians. If you're complaining mm -hmm. that supposedly Israel came and is the occupier, give Syria back to the Christians. Give right. Iraq back to the Assyrians. Give Egypt back to the Coptics if you're complaining. So these, the, see, this is why these uh, Christian Zionists, they killed me. They got upset when I said, the church is the chosen people of God. The mm -hmm. church, the church. But yeah, I for said, sure. Anyone don't accept Jesus, he is not with God anyway. Yeah. And, and doesn't I matter said, if he is a Jew or not, you know. The, 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 the Messiah is the only way and there is no other way. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I said that my belief is the Jews will have to be in the land for Jesus to return. But I said, that doesn't mean Zionism is pleasing to Christ. Zionism, the government, that's pleasing because Jesus is not pro-Republican, uh, pro-Democrat, pro-Israel. Jesus is the king of the kingdom. We need to be but for his kingdom. Isn't it Zionism is in the Bible too? Yeah, well, the Zionism that's in the current state, you're talking about Zion. They're yeah, not, but how we can how we can define who not, is as they're not believers CP these Jews they're not believers so uh, who, I'm talking who, about Zionism I'm talking about the ideology I'm not talking no, about but there's a lot of Zionist Zionism today is a party right a political yeah. party all right but there's a lot of Christian between them yeah that's the thing the Christians because a lot of Christians are taught the Jews are still God's chosen people no we no, that, no no I mean we just agreed me and you that the Christians yeah. who believe in Jesus from Israel they are chosen yes. people of God, right? Yeah, any Christian, Jew or Gentile, is the chosen people. Yeah, but let us no, focus now say, in the Jews alone. No, they say, yeah. no, no, Israel is the chosen people of God. Well, they are Not, Israel. They are Israel because at the end of the day, the one who inherited the land is Israeli, and those are Christian Israeli. So they are. So, you know, remember when, uh, 
when God, uh, uh, he, he, you know, he wanted to destroy uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. Yes. What what uh, prevented God from uh, destroying the city? If there's how many decent yeah, persons? Yeah, they were righteous. Yeah. But That's that it. wasn't the point I was making. So do we, can we say, can me and you agree that there is ten righteous Christians who they are Israeli Jews, righteous yeah, Christian in Israel? You, if you hear, listen to what I'm saying, I'm not disagreeing. Listen to yeah. what I'm saying. I'm saying all right. All right. The believer in Jesus, he's the true Jew, whether Jew or Gentile. So I, it has nothing to do with what they're saying. They're saying, no, no, Israel, Israel, the Jews, they are God's original chosen people. I'm saying, no, now in Jesus, Jesus says, if you believe in me, you are the true son of Abraham. That has nothing to do with the state, Israel. I never said Israel doesn't have a right to be there, or it's not God's plan, or we should be for the Palestinians. They're lying to you. The argument was different. Someone All right. Was well, the person who I spoke to is a decent person, but maybe got, uh, got you wrong, yeah. because no, English is their second yeah. language. Yeah. They get emotional. Like here, this guy saying, I'm, I contradict them. See, these guys, they kill me. How these 71? Can you come on my channel and watch the session, see if I contradicted myself? I told them in Romans 2, 28, 29, Romans 2, 28, 29, Matthew 21, 37 and 45, Galatians 4, 21, 31, Galatians 3, 26, 29. Paul says the true Jew is the one who believes in Jesus. So if you're Jew or Gentile, if you believe in Jesus, you are the seed of Abraham. So the church is God's people. And I said, God is not done with the Jews because I even quoted Romans 11, 28 to 29, where he says, for the sake of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he's not going to wipe out the Jews like yeah. he did Sodom and Gomorrah. He will not wipe them out because of his love for Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's in Romans 11, 28, 29. So if the liars were honest, because Christians... <laughs> We are condemned if we lie and bear false witness. Uh, Sam, what do you think about the, the covenant, which is in Genesis, that your land is from the yeah. Nile River to Euphrates? Yes, okay. Now, you're talking about the covenant made with the descendants of Israel. Now, Jesus comes and says, true Jerusalem is heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, Galatians 4.26. Hebrews 12.22.24 24. The Jerusalem above heaven, that's the true Jerusalem, and it's going to come down. The Jerusalem on earth, now that Jesus is rejected, read it, it's not me. Jesus rejected. Re Revelation 11, 8, it's called Sodom and Egypt. It says, where our Lord was crucified, Sodom and Egypt. Then Jesus says, if you go to John 4, 20, 24, when he says to the Samaritan, it's not in Jerusalem nor on this mountain where you worship God, but you worship God in spirit and truth because Jesus says, you reject me, your house will be left desolate. So I have no problem with earthly Jerusalem belonging to the Jews. That's not the point. That wasn't the point I'm making. Yeah, now but, uh, but uh, the covenant is about earthly, earthly yeah. promise. And then Jesus said, this earthly Jerusalem, I'm done with it. It's yeah, but still, Jerusalem. but still the land promised in the covenant with Abraham to the Jews. So yeah. we, we, we don't want to mix between the, like the, the end of the time and uh, the promise of uh, those who believe in Jesus, where they will be in the heavenly Jerusalem. No, no, that's that's not my point. If you're listening, CP, brother, yeah. just listen a little bit. I know you want to argue and debate. Jesus said, because you reject me, I leave your house desolate. Matthew 23, 37, 39, Luke 19, 41, 44. So the earthly Jerusalem, it's for the Jews. My point is, that the New Testament says that the true Israel are those who believe in Jesus. The true Jerusalem is heavenly. Paul says, Galatians 4, 21, okay. 31, if you read it, he says the Jerusalem on earth, that's Hagar. Go read it, CP. Open right. it. No, 4, no I, 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 have, I, I agree with you. But yes. in the same time, uh, don't we have until now Christians in Jerusalem, you know, believe in Jesus no. and they accept no. Jesus every day? By the way, brother, who's how how seventy one? He's saying I'm back on. Is this guy a dog of Satan? Of Muhammad? Don't, don't forget, you know, don't worry about him. Right, what so, are you saying? But we have now until now every day, and that's why many rabbis are so angry from the Christians and Christianity, because there is Jews every day in Jerusalem and the area around. They accept Jesus. Is that correct? 
Yeah, they're All Jews. Right. So they Jesus, he said, because you refuse me, I, I, I reject you. But he did not refuse those who accepted him, correct? No, that we're not, see, you're, you're, you're making a different point for no, me. No, no, just wait. Hold on. Just say, my listen to you. Listen to me. So yes. in the same time, even when Jesus said, I reject you, I expel you from me, etc., still all his disciples, they were Jews. And who's the who's debating that? Huh? Do you, can no, you no, repeat no. what no, 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 no. Listen. So now, even from even with the with the with the decision of of you Jews are rejected me, but Jesus is still he is supported by the Jews. Even at that moment which when he said that. Not support him. Sorry. Which Jews support him? All the disciples. Yes, and you're making my point, so you're confirming my point. But what yeah, was but my today point? we have disciple too. Today we have disciple, which means new convert to Christ with mm. earthly Jerusalem. You're not you're not making my point. You're uh, making another. This is point. not about earthly Jerusalem. This is about those people. They will not be forsaken because they believe in yeah, Jesus. So as Jesus. long there is a Christians in Jerusalem, yeah. and they are believers, and the, the same Palestine, the same as Sodom and Gomorrah. This is my point. The same as Sodom and Gomorrah. If there is only 10 decent people, God will not destroy it. As will long God destroy Palestine if there are 10 Christians in Palestine? Well, well what Palestine? There's no Palestine. If there are 10 Christians in Palestine, there's no Palestine. Them? There's no Palestine. In fact, the okay, existence the exist know. the existence of Israel is the best is the best for the for the Christian who they are in Palestine. But you can answer my question now. Let's you yeah. want, I answer yours. Answer mine. Yeah. Be direct. This this place called Palestine. I know you cannot Palestine. destroy something that doesn't exist. Say it again. You cannot destroy something that doesn't exist. Okay, but it's called Palestine. It's called Palestine, be Palestine before those Palestine. people exist. Yes no? This is the name of a territory, not the name okay. of the people. The Christians in that territory will that territory be wiped well, out? Yes. God no? will not destroy them because simply he destroy the Christians because they are going to be saved by the Israeli. A Palestinian Christian, no, if we can call him, destroyed. listen, listen, a Palestinian Christian will live 1,000 times better than living under Hamas. Do I agree? Okay, yeah, I agree with that, but that's okay. not my question. So, so why, uh, why, God is going to why God is going to destroy the Christians in Palestine if it. he so is going Palestine to save them? No, no, listen, listen. So God will save the Christian so in Palestine by destroyed. Israel. That territory cannot be destroyed. Good job, CP. No, no, no. People, people too. People, people. No people, people. But we are talking about the Christians in Palestine, if you call it Palestine. And if there are 10 I, I, I believe, I believe that Israel, Israel is going to do save the Christians in Palestine, even though there's some Jews, they don't like them, they hate them. So, so the Israel is going to bring the Christians out of Palestine into Israel? Okay. No, they well, will not bring them out. No, they will not bring them out. This is this is this is this is the land of Israel. So the Israeli, because they are hypocrite today, and nobody yes, want sir. nobody dare to say the truth. Listen, because they don't dare to say that this is our land. You like it, like it, you don't like it, drink from the ocean. So because we have politics, because we have politician. Nobody dare to say the truth. So Christians who live in Israel, this is not Palestine, this is Israel. So okay. those Christians will be way more better, saved by Jesus, if they agree to live under the Israeli. And I met many, many Christians from that land, and I spoke to them, and they told me, oh, you know, like, we, oh, even Hamas, even Gaza, they wish to get a passport of Israel. Mm -hmm. Everybody say right. that, you know, yep. they told me life there is way better and there's no we can't compare between how the Israeli treat the, the government, treat the Christians, even though they call you call the Arab and how the Arab treat Arab or how the Palestinian treat Palestinian or how the Saudi treat treat uh, uh, Egyptian. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, for the for the Christians who live, who they are part of so-called Palestine and those are the original people, by the way, not Hamas, not those like. Muslims. Muslims are they came as an invasion. The Christian there, they are the original people who used to live side by side with the Jews. The rest are not. So the rest don't even have a right to stay. However, the Christians with is in Israel, within Israel, are one billion times better than being under Hamas or Islamic State. Of course, knows the, who's making that argument. All right. So this is why when you say to me, is God going to protect Palestine for ten no, Christian there? Palestine never, to... Palestine never exists to be destroyed or not. Yeah. Now, CP, the, uh, the, the, the Christians uh, there... Your the... argument, let me remind you what your argument is. Hmm. If there are 10 righteous in Israel, will God destroy it? No. But now, because you said politics and they're cowards, this territory that they call Palestine, 
I know it's Israel. There was no Palestine. Okay, that's not my point. I'm talking about today they call it Palestine. Now, your logic, if there are 10 Christians in that territory, it won't be destroyed either. I'm just using your argument against you. That's it. Yeah. So you're making my case. All right. Well, uh, you know, for me, I believe that's uh, the land of the end of the day. If I'm a person who live in that territory and I'm a Christian uh, uh, Palestinian, I will support Israel and I will never support Muslim state because all of us, we knew what the Muslim did through Muslim history. The great people, they're going to enslave them. I know that. I we, know, we know the Pact of Omar, right? Yeah. We know what it's happened. Kind of we know what they did. And we know that we cannot even compare. Now no. there's there is in Israel there is there is a, there is a huge number of people who support homosexuality. We know that, but of this course, is I but this it. is the case in everywhere in the world today. Everything is awkward. Everything is backward. So yeah. still, as long there is you know the the promise of God that it, as long there is still righteous. That's why we say when when fake priests speak about judgment day is soon to do tomorrow. We say this is false because, first of all, nobody knows when. Same time, God, he made it clear that as long as still there is righteous, and those are the one who follow the Lord, uh, the, that, that hour will not come uh, for the penalty, the, the penalty day. You know, not just the Lord will come. He might come anytime. Yep. But, uh, but for us as a Christians, uh, we should support what is right and go against like how many times I made uh, videos and you made videos against uh, the scumbag uh, to weave a singer Yeah, that bastard. Yeah. Yeah, well, but why we do he's a Jew, right? But he is a false Jew. Why because if he is a true Jew He will not lie Thank to his perfect. people praising Muhammad who killed the Jews at least if being honest You don't believe in Jesus at least say I believe I don't believe in Jesus I don't believe in Muhammad too, but the coward he don't dare to say so for he's a fraud So we know that there's many fraud between them But in the same time there's many rabbis hundreds and thousands of rabbis who become a Christians preaching the gospel as we speak right now in, in, in Jerusalem so those those are the seeds of Israel who they are going to bring Israel back to Jesus again and we pray that all of Israel sooner or later will follow Jesus and they will be saved we don't want only few we want all of them exactly that was the heart of Paul and one day I want I didn't call in for this one but because they were lying about me I mentioned uh, the passage the guy tried to quote against you this again see this is why a lot of Christians they're dangerous they think they're doing good they're adding division like here people here hmm. oh yeah I'm with Sam Shimon I'm with CP no you're not with me nor with CP, you be with Jesus. We're not here I mean. attacking each other. Uh, this guy who quoted to you Matthew 26, 50, 54, this guy's got to be, I'm sorry, CP, I'm not as patient as you. Pray for me. You're older, more mature than me. Maybe you're older, maybe I'm older, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> the, the dummy, when he says, Jesus said, <laughs> put your son. If yeah. you read CP, it proves your point. Here, let me, and you answered it beautifully, but I just want to add this point. This is why Go ahead. he killed me. When he quoted Matthew 26, 50, 54, and we know from John 18, it was Peter. Peter took the sword. and But notice what he said, CP. He said, put your sword back in its place. He didn't say, get rid of it. Yeah. You see how stupid the guy is? Mm -hmm. He didn't say, get rid of it. So my question to him, CP, is two. Number one, what were they doing with a sword to begin with? And number two, why did Jesus say, put it in its place? Why didn't he say, get rid of it? I have an answer for that. He made hummus. See, they got it, yeah. And on top <laughs> of that, you were right. When Jesus said, go buy a sword, CP, Luke 22, 38, when they said, we have two, he said, that's sufficient. When he said, that is enough, right. in Luke 22, 38, it means that is sufficient. You have what you need to protect yourself. So the very passage the guy quoted, Jesus didn't say, hey, get rid of your sword. He said, put it back in its place. But hold on, Jesus. Why didn't you tell him, get rid of it? Because like you said, Jesus allows us to defend ourselves. What Jesus was saying is, we're not like Muslims, where if someone doesn't accept Jesus, we kill him. Yeah. Because Peter was trying to stop Jesus from fulfilling prophecy. He says that. He goes, I don't need you. I can bring angels. And if you live by the sword, your life is by the sword, you're going to die by the sword. Ask the jihadis. So I just wanted to make that comment. But CP, anyone who tells you that I support, for example, Islam or Hamas, what? They are lying. That was not my point. Yeah, I, I think the person misunderstood because it's a decent person. You, you say you know him, so I'll trust yeah. you that yeah. he's, uh, he meant well. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you. So I, I apologize if I, 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 I was really upset when I heard this. No. Don't, come ask me, man. But anyway, 
I love you, but I'm better looking than you. I just want you to know that. <laughs> All right. Okay, take, God bless. Take care. Bye-bye.